Redwood Lighthouse and Fisherman's Museum. So come along with me and see what we can see. Now it is $3 per person and here's the hours of operation. Weather permitting. Today we're not allowed to go up the steps to the top of the lighthouse because of the weather, but let's check out the museum instead. So come along with us and see what we can see. The Fisherman's Museum is located on the first floor of the Keeper's House, and there is even a possibility of renting the apartment on the second floor. The Fisherman's Museum was established in 1972 and is active with collecting and preserving historical data and artifacts related to the fishing industry in the Bristol, Maine area. The museum serves as an information center for the tools, nets, and boats used by local fishermen since the 1800s as they earned a hard and risky living on the sea. The museum includes displays, models, dioramas, and photographs. Now included in their collection are captain's logs and historical articles about the many ships wrecked on or near the lighthouse, along with the extreme number of photos and other historical artifacts and information about the Pemaquid Point Lighthouse. For many years, the museum staff and directors also served as guardians of the lighthouse tower, working with the U.S. Coast Guard to ensure that the lighthouse was properly maintained and in good working order. Inside this outbuilding, they even have a little scallop drag. But looking at the back window, oh my goodness, what a sight. Also in the park area is an art gallery, which you can see that building on the left. I'm not going to go in that one because of, you know, copyright art. But to the right is a presentation area, and they are currently showing a video on different lighthouses in Maine. So let's go in there and check out what that building looks like. We will be exploring the lighthouse on the outside just a little bit later, so stay tuned. At the very back of the parking lot, you will see a restroom sign that will take you to a white building. In the first part, you will see ladies walking towards the back. Follow the restroom sign. You will see the men's bathroom, which does seem to be handicapped accessible. But they also do have an all-gender bathroom that is definitely handicapped accessible. Now let's take a look at this beautiful lighthouse from the outside. The Pemmacud Point Lighthouse, otherwise known as Pemmacud Point Light, was commissioned by John Quincy Adams in 1827. The Pemmacud Point Lighthouse and Park is run and maintained by the Bristol Parks and Recreational Department. Now the park is open to visitors 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day from the middle of May until the mid to late October. The tower has limited hours for climbing and is only open weather permitting. 
so please call ahead to check for the availability if coming to climb the tower. Now other attractions at the park area include the Learning Center, Art Gallery, Public Restrooms, and the Fisherman's Museum.